I'm Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. Uh, this video is a review of Astonishing Times issue number two. Uh, this is a comicsology ex- original. Uh, it is written by Frank J. Barbary with Ann Aris Quinones. Uh, also with art by Rari Coleman, uh, colors by Lauren Affey, and Taylor uh, Esposito on letters with a design by Dylan Todd. Uh, now, if you were part of the, if you saw my last video uh, about Astonishing Times, uh, here's a little reminder of what the comic is about. Uh, so, it's a five-issue miniseries uh, that takes place in the 21st century, uh, but it's it, it's a little bit of a, a street perspective on the superhero, which uh, a story which follows Noah Sands, a reporter at the Sentinel, as he chronicles the decaying relevance of superheroes in a world that has moved past them. Uh, In this issue, after teaming up with one of his childhood idols, the superhero Koken, Noah is faced with a tough choice in light of their investigation. Meanwhile, Koken is approached by dangerous visitors uh, and old secrets come to the surface as the mystery continues. Um, I'll tell you this, I'm enjoying this comic book very much. Uh, as far as the story goes, it's very interesting. The mystery is definitely unraveling, uh, uh, and it's moving pretty fast. As far as like, you know, when when you have a five issue miniseries, you definitely pacing of the story is very important. Uh, and when I say fast, I don't mean that as a bad thing. I just mean that we really are getting through things. There's not a lot of filler story or anything like that. Um, let's talk about the art a little bit. I love these uh, because th- this comic is really like a love letter to comics. Uh, I love the 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 design here, the look of these of this pages, as we go back and kind of have a flashback uh, to who Koken is and his abilities and kind of what he's been doing as a superhero. Uh, I love the art here, and I'm highlighting this panel here just because I love the design of uh, of this character. Now, in in the present time when we see him. Uh, obviously, the art does not look much like this. It definitely changes. Uh, and the coloring changes as well. As you can see, it's a little bit more muted, a little bit more realistic. Um, but I love the relationship that these two are building. And I hope that it maintains uh, going forward as we get through the story. Because I really I really have no idea where the story is going. Um, uh one of the other things that I appreciate much is in, in superhero comics, we don't normally get to see a lot of the choir moments of uh, of the characters. But here, we actually have spent some time with Noah at his house, with his family. Um, and I love the flashback here, highlighting this, uh, <clears throat> this panel of like, you know, he's remembering his dad or he's watching an old video uh, of his dad and the superhero. Um, like, I really like that kind of stuff. Like, it really sets the mood. And you can kind of tell how different his home life is to, like, the gravity and the the more, um, you know, the stakes of, of him working on the investigation. Um, and this, although I do like the quieter moments, as I said before, this comic also kind of excels at, like, the action. Uh, these are the last two pages I'll show. Uh, because it's a really cool sequence of uh, Kikon is being ambushed. Uh, and you can kind of just tell how the art, uh, like from panel to panel, there's no wasted movement here. Like it all goes right into it. The action is very cool. It's not extremely violent, but it still feels like gritty and um, kind of like a bit of a a PG-13 type of John Wick uh, situation. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Uh, I won't go into more details about the story because I think it's a mystery that's really unraveling really cool. And I want people to experience that. Um, so remember you can go read this on Comixology. If you have a Comixology unlimited subscription, you can read it or you can borrow from the library as this is an original, uh, or if not, it's only $2.99 for the issue. Uh, so go check this out. I think this series is well worth it. Um, so yeah, but if you if you read the issue or if you read the past issue, which uh, last video that I made for this was one of our most viewed videos, so I really appreciate you guys um, with that. 
Uh, let me know what you thought about it in the comments, either this one or the other one. Let's try to keep uh, spoilers off the comments. But uh, yeah, let us know. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. Uh, you can go check out our la our latest the episode. We went back and rewatch uh, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 2 from 2004. Uh, went real deep into the movie uh, and our thoughts uh, upon revisiting the film. Uh, and remember to check out our Patreon. You can see the, the link in the description. Um, we do a giveaway every month, and we would just appreciate any you know any support you want to throw our way. Uh, and if this is your first time on the channel, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. We are very close to 300. If not, if we've already passed it at this point, I really want to thank you guys for that because this is all y'all's doing. We just kind of do videos and, and put them up because we enjoy uh, making this type of content. So thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.